Hey Shark people! I wanted to hop on here and just explain what the next three weeks are going to look like for you. Um, talk about what you can expect and um, I just really feel that a lot of track kids will probably not take this time as seriously but if you will take this time seriously and the things that I have planned for you I think it will make a big difference for you. So for the next three weeks I'm going to be sending you your track workout and I understand that many of you have other events that you're working on and that's fine. Just take the workout that I send you um, and just try to incorporate your jumping um, as much as jumping is important to you compared to your other events. Along with the jumping workouts that I'll be sending you, I also am gonna be sending some lifting that I'd like you to incorporate as well. And the reason for that is, unlike other sports, basketball, football, volleyball, where you can work on a million things in practice. You can work on offense, you can work on defense, you can work on dribbling, you can work on shooting, you can work on this type of offense or this type of defense, blah, blah, blah. With track, it's pretty straightforward. It's the technique and then it's getting better at that technique and when you can get stronger, the better you can jump. So I really want you to embrace that even if it makes you roll your eyes and you wanna just blow it off. Just trust that that lifting and that program programming is gonna make a big difference for you. Another reason for that is, um, take for example, when if any of you have ever trained for a 5K or a half marathon or whatever it is, and you were running all month and then you got sick and you took a week off, when you got back into it, it feels like you are starting over from ground zero. Like it feels, like you haven't even been exercising for the last month. But unlike that, when you incorporate lifting into your workout, when you consistently get stronger and then you get sick, you take a week off, when you get back into the gym, you recognize that you didn't really lose any of your strength. It goes away a lot slower and a lot less than if you were just to go out and start jogging. So embrace the lifting and trust that it's gonna make a difference for you. And also know that this programming isn't just coming from someone who doesn't know what she's talking about. I was a track athlete myself. I won two district championships in the 400 meter dash and I had a district championship in the triple jump as well. So I, I know where it's coming from, from an athlete point of view. And then the programming and the training that I'm getting this from is from top athletes and top coaches at the collegiate level. And, um, one of the athletes that I'm getting this programming from is an Olympic long jumper. So just understand that I've been doing my homework so that you guys can be the best that you can be and compete at a high level at the best that you can. Whether that's winning a district championship for yourself or just doing the best that you can. I really feel strongly about helping you all improve and feel really good about the progress you make with your jumping this season. So. I will be in communication with you, mostly through text message. So I would just expect that you be in communication with me back. Let me know how things are going. If you don't have access to a weight room per se, if you have some dumbbells at home, just let me know and we can modify the lifting days to what's gonna work for you with the materials that you have. I understand that not all of you are gonna have access to a lot of equipment so be patient with that but just be communicative with me as well i'm also considering maybe one day a week going down to the track just so that those of you who want some coaching um, you can get some attention on some of your technique just so that in the next three weeks we don't end up having you making some poor habits that we have to fix three weeks from now. I'd rather keep an eye on you, make sure that things are looking good, talk about what your concerns might be and just get that coaching, um, but still honoring and respecting that we wanna all stay healthy and stay away from each other. So I'm thinking about doing that maybe one day a week. So be, uh, stay tuned for that. I'm just not exactly sure what that would look like yet. So other than that, that's what the three weeks are gonna look like. If you would like to work out Monday through Friday, great. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, do your jumping workouts. Tuesday, Thursday, do your lifting. Or what I like to do personally, I will do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, take a rest day on Thursday. Um, 
exercise Friday, Saturday, and take a rest day on Sunday. So incorporate your rest days, however you wish to do that, it's totally up to you. Um, and if you have questions, you can reach out to me. So hopefully you guys can take these next three weeks, use it to get ahead, use it to get stronger, and it should be interesting. So I will talk to you guys later. Keep an eye out for a jumpy workout that will be coming to you later today. Thanks.